equal pay for equal work laws are a source of apartheid. You know, the basic source of apartheid in South Africa was the insistence by trade unions on equal pay for equal work. The, equal, the women who go around today urging equal pay for equal work are being anti-feminist. They don't intend to be, but that is the effect of their policy. Because if there is any activity in which, for any reason, a male is preferable to a female, or vice versa, the only weapon the less productive sex has is to offer to work for less. And if you deny them that opportunity, you're assuring yourself that you're going to have all male jobs or all female jobs, all white jobs or all black jobs. But aren't you also condemning them to stay that way? Not at all. Not at all. The typical course, if you go back to American history, by taking these low-paid jobs, a great many people, not all, but a great many people were able to develop skills and activities, accumulate a little skill, a little capital, a little knowledge, improve their lot, become a, a advance in the stage, get to a higher level of productivity, and get a higher income. That's been the typical way up the ladder for most of the people who came in here. It was a way up the ladder for my parents, for your parents, or grandparents, or great-grandparents, I don't know which. And that's the way in which, unfortunately, there's no way in which you can so immediately propel people to the top of the ladder. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.